Onion cells are the typical study object in schools to observe organelles and mitosis as it is very easy to prepare slides for observation. What is often overlooked though, due to poor illumination techniques and therefore reduced contrast, is cytoplasmic streaming and organelles. Cytoplasmic streaming describes the flow of cytoplasm inside the cells, which is an actively driven process by the cytoskeleton and motor proteins. Typical organelles which we can observe streaming in the cytoplasm are leukoplasts, which are used to store nutrients and to synthesize chemicals to deter predators. We then also have spherosomes for lipid storage and of course mitochondria. Here we have a focus on the nucleus of the onion cells and we can observe the cytoplasmic strands which are reinforced by elements of the cytoskeleton to actively transport cellular components. As the main energy producer, mitochondria have an indispensable role in the cell and although they look slightly different than the rest of the organelles, it's hard to track them down in Brightfield or DIC. Therefore I stained them with a fluorescent dye called Rhodamin 123, which specifically stains mitochondria based on their membrane potential. To stain the onion cells, we add the dye to the epidermal onion tissue, incubate the cells for 20 minutes and remove excess dye by washing the tissue. We then excite the fluorescent dye with blue excitation light and only allow light with longer wavelengths to pass. A detailed staining protocol can be found in the video description. And this is the fluorescent image we can observe. All the tiny green rod-shaped structures are mitochondria which are transported throughout the cell while all other organelles remain unstained. Using this system, we can also observe the well-being of mitochondria as the staining depends on the mitochondrial membrane potential, which is indispensable for mitochondrial homeostasis and energy production. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comment section below.